Tonight, the Biden administration announced new COVID-19 requirements for all passengers arriving in the U.S. from China. The CDC says the new measures follow a surge of new cases and a lack of transparency from the Chinese government. Here's CBS's Scott McFarland. Effective one week from tomorrow, people traveling from China to the U.S. must have tested negative for COVID within 48 hours of departure to be allowed through. But health experts wonder if that'll stop another COVID wave from crashing into America. By testing with a PCR or a self-administered antigen test within two days of going, we'll catch some cases. But as we all know, there are false negatives. People aren't yet positive and can bring the virus with them. So it may have some benefit. It's going to be rather minimal in the big scheme of things. China is awash in COVID cases. After mass protests last month, the Chinese government abruptly lifted its strict zero COVID restrictions, which had limited movement and limited the spread of the virus and left the world's most populous nation with tens of millions of people still vulnerable to infection and to spread. Hospitals are overflowing and Beijing's data and case tracking are limited. If you go to Beijing, they have so many uh, good hospitals, but if you go to third tier cities or like rural areas, it's total difference. Health experts say such a surge in cases could lead to new variants in America and worldwide. Late today, the Centers for Disease Control also announced it's expanding its COVID surveillance program at U.S. airports in which passengers voluntarily undergo a nasal swab to better detect a new wave of cases. The new restrictions for travelers from China take effect after midnight, Thursday, January 5th. Only passengers under the age of two will be exempt. And Jerika, this is happening as countries across the world add their own new restrictions on travelers from China. Scott McFarland from the Reagan National Airport, thank you.